Hey everyone, hope you're doing well and staying safe. Uh, this is going to be kind of a sidetrack video to um, use git for the uh, commit control because um, for version control and everything. So for this tutorial, for this project, I'm going to be using github to update my project to the git account and also use it for version control. So, um, anyways, as you can see, this is the project folder where we left off with the splash screen, everything will that nature. Um, as you can see, it's my folder, the parent directory of this. So, to get started, what I need to do first is change directory into the project folder. So, it's just this folder right here. Then do ls, you can see that this is indeed the folder that has all this information right here. Then, now that I have this, uh, let me go to my browser, which I have opened. And as you can see, I have GitHub right here. So first and foremost, what you want to do is go to this website. It's uh, https colon forward slash forward slash git dash scm dot com forward slash downloads. And you want to download it for your Windows computer, your Mac computer, or your Linux and Unix box if you have just download and install whichever version you want. Um, because I have this installed, I'm not really going to go through this specific installation, but just down click on the, any of these links, whichever one you have, and follow the instructions to install it. Once that's done, uh, you want to go to github.com. If you don't already have a GitHub, if you do not have a GitHub, I would highly recommend you get a GitHub regardless because it is good for software developers to have this, especially if they're trying to get a job after college or just trying to um, apply for jobs. It's really good to showcase your work. So if you don't have an account, just type in your username, email, password, and sign up for GitHub. Once you're done doing this, um, all you do is log, uh, log in. As you can see, I'm already logged in here. but uh, just log into your account, and on the left-hand side, you should see under repositories this new button, so just click on this. Then it's going to be your GitHub account and the repository name for this, because my project is named My Workout App 2. I'm going to label that as my repository, so I'm going to say My Workout App TWO. And then I can just say uh, YouTube Programming. For React Native, you don't have to do this if you don't want. It's all up to you. Um, I am making this public. Um, sure, I'll add a README. You don't need to do a Git ignore. You don't need to do a license um, unless you want to. For me, this is just a tutorial for people to use, so I'm not going to go through that. But anyways, just create a repository name for your project folder. It doesn't have to be the same as uh, whoops. It doesn't have to be the same as this. It can be whatever. But um, whatever you want to name it, just put a description public readme file. Just create a repository. Now go through and create the account. See, this is the readme. You can edit the readme if you want by going here, clicking on that um, pen. But I don't want to do that. I just want to go to this. So now that I have my workout app, and this is the URL right here, this is very important. So once you have Git installed, um, make sure that you close out VS Code and reinitialize it. So let's just do that now. Close it out, reinitialize it. And uh, by default, when you open up VS Code, it's going to take you to your project folder. Because I'm in the parent folder of my project folder, I'm going to change back into um, change back into the working profile uh, folder. And as you can see, it's the same thing as before. So now that we have this set up, what we want to do is um, set up our Git to link with this project folder. And to do that, we're going to have some commands. So first and foremost, in your terminal, make sure you have a terminal open and make sure it's inside your project folder. So your project folder is, in my case, it's this one. Make sure it's in the project folder. Then you want to type in the following command. It's going to be git init. So 
see how this changed to green as a result because VS Code has a git uh, has a git control for here. Then you want to say git. Um, well, first we can do config. Then we'll say dash dash global user dot name. Then it's going to be your name. So that's going to configure the name, and then it's going to be git config dash dash global user dot email, and then it's going to be your email. Uh, <coughs> and I'm going to hide this so that you guys can't see my email because I don't want you guys to see it, obviously. So then you want to do, uh, first I'm just going to clear that out so that you don't, so I can move on to the next thing. So then I'm going to do git add and then star. So now that that's done, you want to do git commit, and then you can do dash m, which stands for message. And in this, it's going to say uh, first upload to our project. Project. So it created that. Then you want to say git remote add origin and then the URL that we have here. So this is my URL. You want to copy this and paste it in here and say dot git at the end. Then you want to say git remote v to make sure that you have this. So see fetch and push get remote dash v gives you the version so you want to say git push dash dash set dash u origin master so now it should be done and if we come here we refresh this come down here and see how it says master under here we should now have our project uploaded see one minute ago and you can verify this is the case so if you go to your source slash see we have all of this and there you go that is how you commit your react native project to github and we will be using this from now on for a git version control so that um so that uh whenever you showcase this to your um future employer or your hr whoever you're trying to do this for or for yourself it's just good practice to do commits and version control using uh git so i will see you in the next video and we're going to begin continuing on with the um with the authentication stack so Anyways, I'll see you later. Have a good day, guys.